what? What the? Howdy! What is going on, Richard? He's turned this into a cartoon. Oh, you, you know what's happened? I know what's happened. He ran out of money. At this part of the tunnel, you know, he totally ran out of money and he went 8 bit 16 color. Oh, cheap son of a gun. <laughs> Producer's prerogative, right? <sighs> Goodbye budget, shorten timelines, and turn people into cartoon characters for ratings. Just sad. Well, while we figure out what's happened to us, you can watch this interview I did with Kelly Ruth Mercer in her 2005 film from Crazy Eights called 24-7. If you can roll Wi-Fi still. Yeah, might be a bit weird in this color space. <laughs>Ruth. Yeah. So cool to have you on the show. Thanks. Welcome to the space station. Thank you. So we're going to be talking to you today mm -hmm. about your uh, 2005 mm -hmm. Crazy Eights film 24-7 yeah. and other things and stuff. Okay. Over to you. Other things and stuff? Well, it's up to you. You Gee. can talk about whatever you want. Hit me with a question. Do you like ice cream? Ice cream is my favorite thing in the whole world. See, I told you I was perceptive. Uh, when, well, let's see. In about 2000, my friend gave me a Christmas gift, and it was a handmade ice cream bowl. And on the outside, it says Kelly Ruth's ice cream. Uh -huh. So, Not yeah, bad. definitely you hit the center of the bat with that one. Not bad. Hey, how about this one? Okay. We're both parents. Yes, we are. I have a, a son, mm -hmm. and you have a daughter. I do. And you're also very busy. Yes. So what's work-life balance like for you? Ah, work-life balance. Isn't that something that we see in memes on Facebook all the time? Is that like ice cream? No. Okay. There's no balance for ice cream. No, just, they come in single servings, and you take the top off, and you get to the bottom, and that's how it works. You just bend and it all the way to the bottom. I like the way you roll. Go on it. I think work-life work balance is challenging when um, your vocation is something that requires so much of you, inclusive of your time. So I think if I were the type of person who um, um, had a wonderful but nonetheless unphysical job sitting at a desk or whatever, then at least that part of me would be have, have more energy at the end of the day for the kid. So you're an artist, clearly. Yeah. Been doing it for a couple of weeks or longer. Um, I started, I went to theater school. Mm -hmm. I have a degree in acting. Uh, I finished that in the mid to late 80s. Mm -hmm. Came to Vancouver in the late 90s. I have a graduate degree in directing theater with a minor, minor in film. Where are you from? Toronto? Uh, no, no, I'm from the real east. I'm from Nova Scotia. <sighs> Welcome to Canada. Oh, oh, my ribs. Just kidding. It's a space right. station. I don't right. know where we are right That's now. That's right. <laughs> Nova Scotia is very, very small yeah. from up here. So I came to um, uh, Vancouver to go to grad school. I had no intention of staying mm -hmm. and ended up staying. But so anyway, my Crazy Eights film. Let's go to Crazy Eights. Right. What happened? Um, I, was, I had a brief stint of working in visual effects. And mm -hmm. I had this idea to do a short film as a proof of concept for a feature film. Oh. And the feature film would be uh, um, runtime 90 minutes mm -hmm. um, uh, as television would inclusive of commercials, which they themselves would um, have a subversive kind of storytelling and commentary on uh, things such as they are. Um, uh, but it would be a news magazine show. Yeah. So my guilty pleasure is watching 2020 and Dateline NBC and okay. those kinds of things. Right. So I might catch an episode every two months or something. Mm -hmm. So um, this short film began, at least in my imagination, as a proof of concept for uh, a long form, for a feature length film um, that would be satirical, but an, uh, um, uh, a, a sort of an investigative program um, uh, looking into and keeping in mind that this was 2005. It was inspired by the Bush presidency. These things aren't relevant anymore. Um, oh. Are and uh, or are they indeed? <laughs> and um, um, so, 24/7 uh, runs nine minutes and real time nine minutes as we would expect it to, as we would expect to see in a, a, a television segment on one of these uh, TV shows. Which, if the audience has already seen it, they now know, or they may come to know if they're about to see it. They are about to see. Uh, it. All right. Would you like to watch it? Sure. That's fantastic. Toasty, roll that Wi-Fi over there. That one. And finally tonight, you may be aware that here 24-7, change is going to come. The network has been flooded with email, snail mail, telephone calls, and the presence of desperate throngs looking for answers. You've waited long enough. Tonight, in the face of false accusations and name-calling, I tender my resignation and bring to an end my tenure as news anchor of this 
our nation's favorite news magazine, 24-7. Graciously, the network is giving me this opportunity to clear my name. And by doing so, clear theirs. This is hard-hitting investigative journalism that echoes of Watergate, and even a little Peter Pan. But first, with a rare glimpse into the struggles of an icon, here's Marty Brumlich with For Those About to Rock. This is a tale of celebrity. Was seen walking. Infamy. It can't be true. And the court of public opinion. Leave us alone. But at its heart, it's the story of a man, and not just any man. He's Rock Braun, the first among us to cross from news into wide-scale celebrity. But this fairy tale existence was to be short-lived. Rock saw it coming in a dream. It was a nightmare. I was on the city street and no one knew my name. People were looking at one another, but not at me. And then the call came at midnight. My sister woke me from my terror with the news. We must have been scared. I can do better than that. I was unnerved. Rock had become the subject of scrutiny arising from his now infamous investigation into the real birthplaces of famous figures called home or native land. It never occurred to me these secrets were worth keeping. Rock's producer, Alison Aldrin. Look, this is not documentary. It was meant to be a little bit of fun. We had no idea there'd be any trouble. But there was. There certainly was. What happened next broadsided the staff at 24-7 and rocked the world of journalism. In a bizarre what's good for the goose is good for the gander twist, Rock Braun became the subject of his own investigation. Rock Braun lists in these documents his birthplace is 555 Walnut Street. But as you can see, there is no 555. There's a 553 and a 557. So, Rock Braun, were you born in an alley? Who cares where he was born? I don't even know where my own parents were born. Ron? Oh my God, I love him! How can you ask us to trust somebody who's deliberately misled the citizens of this nation? How can we believe he is who he says he is? He's on TV! Celebrity. The etymological origin of the word is one who is celebrated. Professor Choker Lead, author of the bestseller False Identity. Now, identity can be described as a set of facts about a person. Name, hair color, birthplace, some personality traits, etc., that distinguish that person from another. They have no meaning. It is a list. Celebrity is clearly not determined by the facts, but through a fixation on a few key details by the populace, the group, the collective. Celebrity and its bastard cousin, Infamy, are as points on a compass personifying good and evil. For the individual, being saddled with one, a compliment. The other, a curse. You're saying it's hard to know who any celebrity really is? Quite. You may not want or need to. It was suddenly painfully clear. Where you come from might matter. To find out more, I head to the streets. Do you know Rock Braun? Of course I know Rock Braun. Everybody knows Rock Braun. How well? Oh, pretty well, I think. I mean, I see him every week, which is more than I see most of my friends. What do you know about him? Hey. I heard Rock Braun is not his real name. It was on the news. It's like French or something. Would it surprise you to know that it's German? See? Like, if he gets to be, like, the person we look up to, who tells us what to think and everything, like, how do we know he's telling the truth if we don't even know where he's from? Whatever his origin, rumors began to circulate. The network had been lax in assessing Braun's security risk, and later, that they didn't care, pitting the nation's welfare against the record-breaking ratings of 24-7. Things had come to a head. The unknowns outnumbered the knowns. In an unprecedented move, the network offered Braun an opportunity to face the music on everyone's behalf. In a matching gesture, Braun tendered his resignation to stave off the threat of scandal and avoid tarnishing XBC. Rock? Thank you, Marty, old boy. So you see, Rock Braun has everyone's best interest in his heart. But Rock knows that your minds are inquiring and that you may not have had enough. Well, Rock is always a man who's got to the bottom of things, and he's not about to stop now. Tonight, in a never-before-seen, unprecedented television event. Icon on icon, mano y mano, rock brawn digging deep as you've never seen him dig before in We Will, We Will Rock You.
Mr. Braun, before we dig in, I can see that you're in the presence of your attorney. Now, can you explain for those at home why that is? Well, Rock, as you know, I'm currently under investigation and not able to answer all your questions. This one in particular. But I will say this. Children say that people are hung sometimes for speaking the truth. I want my fans to know the truth. And what is the truth about Rock Braun? Translated, Rock Braun means glorious brown. Are you suggesting that you're brilliantly ordinary? I've got this one. To the former, yes. To the latter, doubtful. All right, let's go back. Your expose, Home and Native Land, outed nearly almost a dozen personalities who were hiding in plain sight, who were not, ultimately, who they said they were. No, 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 no. We never said they weren't who they said they were. We only revealed that they weren't born where they said they were. Born. Isn't this the same thing? Is it? What do you mean, is it? The accusations being leveled against you personally suggest that they are the same thing, and that a person's origin speaks volumes about wait, who wait, they wait, are. Wait, 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 this wasn't, this wasn't in the question submitted beforehand. Mr. Braun, you have been accused of everything from being a legal alien to a terrorist hiding in plain sight. No. You have complained that you've been portrayed negatively by the press. Yes, they have feasted on my carcass. Well, with all your respect, sir, this is your chance to speak out against the lies that have been perpetrated against you. My fans should know that I am real. Rock Braun is not a phony. I am flesh and blood as they are. I had a dream. <laughs> well, your journey has been, wouldn't you agree, that of Icarus. Take a look at this. Icarus, exhilarated by the thrill of flying, became careless. He did not heed his father's warning and flew too close to the sun. The wax holding together his wings melted from the heat and he plunged to his death in the sea. Oh, the boy drowned. Hmm. Have his family been notified? He drowned thousands of years ago in the Icarian Sea. Body of water named after him. Hmm. Can somebody please... Mr. Braun, is there anything at all to the allegations that you cannot be trusted due to your uncertain past? Life as a journalist is a tough one. There are risks to life, liberty, and truth. It is in this world that Rock Braun was born, reared, shaped. It is here that I developed my voice. And that voice became equanimous with trust. I mean, it comforted all who heard it tremble. But the truth is, I am but a messenger, a great messenger. But history is littered with the fallen of the great. I have graced the red carpet of fame and loved it too dearly. For this, I have been punished as Agamemnon, Dr. Frankenstein, and Big Dog before me. Each of these men is remembered in infamy. Oh, yes, but there is no such thing as bad press. Mr. Braun, thank you for your time today. For you, Rock, any time. And so it is, questions and answers. Tonight, I mark my final roll call with you in this, my last report for 24-7. I would have preferred to carry this through to the finish, no matter what personal agony it would have involved. But the interests of the network must always come before any personal considerations. So as I walk towards the river, my last conscious thought is of you, the fans, the fans, the fans. Rock Braun. For all of us here at 24-7, we bid you good night, and I bid you farewell. We made it! Mm. It's lovely, look at this. Mm. Uh -oh, yeah. Now I'm sensing where all my budget went. Mm. Mm. Hello! 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 
Why are you adding the echo? I, I, I don't know, just sort of seem like the thing to do. I mean, you know, look at the atmosphere. Jeez. <laughs> Interesting flooring. I wonder how you get to crazy paving like this. I mean, you know, contract work. It's sort of odd, really, when you think about it. You know, who does that, like, on a Sunday? <laughs> I didn't even know what day it is. Maybe it is something. Maybe he likes people also. Yeah. Look at all the crazy things that he does. I mean, how many times have we been there? How many times have we had to jump through hoops like this? How many times have we had to dodge bullets and demons and, and, and mechs and all the rest of it just to find out that you know, a budget's been cut, that you've gone 8-bit, that you can't do this, you can't do that, and, and that they need the film next week. Oh, there's no bloody trailers available. Yeah, there's that too. Where is he anyway? Oh, Zack Snyder's going to direct the film. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh, and how about the producer going from 16 episodes to four? Don't get me started, Richard. Just don't, just, just don't. Because uh, I'll start and I won't stop. Crying, I mean. This is the world we live in, and now we'll have to wait. Again.